we are visiting the destination of probably the biggest celebrity in this town uh, which i live at most recently uh jake paul the biggest one of the biggest youtubers in the world fought a guy named ryan borland so ryan uh, worked out at this dominion boxing mma he's an experienced boxer okay and um, I'm gonna jump back into my car because there's a winter storm out here. Went out to Puerto Rico and they um, went against Jake Paul, right? And uh, well, he didn't win is uh, what happened. And the event was super hyped. I saw maybe two fights. Um, one of them went to late 12, went to 12 rounds. Two of them did. And Jake Paul and Ryan Borland was a very quick fight, lasting one round. The two girls at the end, which didn't fight. The thing is that you never really know what's gonna happen um, with a competition like that. Um, I'm I'm pretty new to boxing. I've never um, done boxing. I played football. That's the closest thing I've done to boxing. Those one-on-one -on -one sports are kind of new to me. You never really know what's gonna happen because anything can really happen with a one-on-one -on -one fight. Um, somebody can underperform, somebody can do really well. Like I think happened there, I think Ryan un underperformed and I would like to think he could have done better uh, fighting against Jake Paul, but uh, kind of looked like Jake Paul just kind of rushed him and cornered him and he challenged Canelo. Um, he lost to Tyson Fury, uh, but Jake Paul did donate um, his whole earnings to his boxing club in Puerto Rico. 